But you can, again, see, once you've figured out this puzzle, this is all there is, just going through the motions. And of course you've got to do this twice, because there's two pages in the... in the age, so, yeah. That was a ding splat. Which means northwest. I love the, how that compass spins back and forth. Was that just a ding? Or was that a ding and an exhaust? Well, we can, it wasn't just a ding, because you can't go north, so it must have been ding exhaust. And that was just a ding. Uh-oh. Bank's turn. Woo! That's right. Feel the Gs. That was a dong exhaust. There's some pretty wicked mine tunnels here. Extreme! Not really. But this is about how as extreme as mist gets. Can I shift key through this? No. But I do believe that that's the end. So I'm gonna stand up. Come on. Why can't I stand up? There we go. Huh? That was strange. I was like stuck in my chair. Couldn't get out. Opens the door. Opens the next door. And there's my book home. Well, the blue page will make uh, Akinar happy. There we go. Hi, my friend. Bring in the blue pages. I see. Well, we still can't get anything out of him. I think after we bring in the last blue page, we'll be able to actually hear a message, like all the way through. For now, though, we have to go through the minecart again. And that is the reason the Selenetic Age is the weakest uh, of the four ages. Not because the puzzles aren't cool, the sound puzzles, once you get your head around them, are pretty cool. They're fun to solve. And not because the minecart is necessarily bad, because it's not. It's, I mean, it's boring if you, just, if you don't like mapping things and you don't understand the other way to solve the puzzle, but I do like mapping things, and I eventually, years later, did read about the correct solution to the puzzle. Where's the red page at, though? But if you want both pages, you have to do the entire puzzle a second time, which, there's nothing fun to solve now. I've already got it figured out. Where's the this page at? It stands to reason, you know, blue page is by the water, red page is by the fire, but no. No, no, no. Uh, by the clock. I didn't see it by the clock. By the crystal somewhere? No, it doesn't look like it. That's it. I think there's a red page in this world. There must be, because there's a page in every world. That doesn't go anywhere. It's like the lost continent of Atlantis is down there, but you can't reach it. We can screw up this ladder, though. Yeah, buddy! This is the most extreme mist age, the Selenetic age. So, was there a side tunnel or something down here? It seems strange they would hide one page, but not the other one, you know? What is there about this tunnel that I'm missing? You don't really need the lights on, because you can... It's just a short tunnel. There's only one way to go. Well, okay, uh... Red page? 
It's not sitting on one of these urns or something. It's not inside there. Well, where else can you go in this world? The blue page was like just right out in the open. Back down in the basement. Let's turn the lights back on. Yeah, I don't understand the, uh... There's nothing in this hallway. I've been all over this hallway. I've looked at all the walls and everything. Nope, no red pages down here. I'm just overlooking something very, very obvious. Like, everybody at home has probably seen the red page laying there, and I just didn't look that direction for some reason, and you're all screaming at the monitor. But I don't know. It's not back here, is it? It's not... Yeah, you can't even get back in the rocket ship now. Let's look back inside here real quick. No, I don't think it's in here either. But yeah, I think this, this is the only of the four ages that doesn't have bedrooms for the two brothers. It's just... The page is just laying out in the open. And I guess that kind of makes sense, since the other ages kind of have two different puzzles to them. You get one puzzle to figure out where the books are, and then the other puzzle gets you back outside of the age. But I don't think I'm quite ready to go through the whole maze yet, because I don't think the red page is on either side of the maze. I think the pages are both on one side, and then the exit's on the other. Let us just retrace my steps, I guess. Um, you can't really deviate very much from these catwalks. So here's the trickling water. This is where the blue page was, correct? I think so. Brick Road is stuck in mist. A game he's played a thousand times. I've probably played it like six times, honestly. Maybe, maybe fewer. It's like dreadfully difficult to even get Real Mist running on modern operating systems. Like I own the game and I've tried to install it several times. Like this Let's Play, I've actually tried to record a couple different times. I tried to record it on my uh, on my fiance's computer back when I was doing Let's Plays on her computer, but Real Mist does not run on Windows Vista, so I tried to install it. Wouldn't work. There's some workarounds online that you can look up, but none of them worked for me. So I, uh, but they also let you play it on GameFly, and at the time I had a GameFly account. Am I thinking GameFly? Wait a minute. Am I thinking of the right thing? Game Tap. That's what I'm thinking of. Is Game Tap. Okay, so it was on Game Tap. So I went on Game Tap, and you really can't record stuff from Game Tap. Like it didn't work very well. There's the red page. Haha! -ha, I found it. So the recording came out all choppy, and it was bad, and I could not use it. So then months later, I built my own computer with Windows 7, and I'm like, okay, well let's try this again. And once again, you know, Real Mist did not want to run on Windows 7. And once again, people had some workarounds, but they didn't really work for me. So, and by th this is like a span of a year and a half I was trying to do this. But then finally it came out on Steam. I'm like, well, they wouldn't release the game on Steam if it didn't work. You know what I mean? They wouldn't sell you a $5 game and then not have it works. But I don't know if they changed it or if the planets just came into alignment or what happened, but... When I installed the version that I got on Steam, the program worked fine, and now here we are. We get to go back through the maze again. Which means listening to all the noises. I probably should have jotted down which direction was which so I could just click, click, click through, but no, I didn't do that. 
It's a long way down, man. Ding is north. <sighs> Splat is west. Nope, can't shift through this. You just gotta sit and watch. I want to see, like, an adjacent track and have, like, some alligator guys in a minecart chasing down some Kongs. That'd be pretty hilarious. Exhaust is east. Hum da dum da dum. Yeah, this, this video is pretty boring. I, I wouldn't watch it. If I was... No, I, I would skip this part. If I was you guys. Yeah, don't, don't, don't want to tell you. Dong. Dong is south. <sighs> south again. Hey, I'm kind of tired, too. Pretty bored going through this minecart maze a second time. At least if you spent all that time mapping out the first time, you could just look at your map and just zip, zip, zip right through. Don't have to worry about the sounds anymore. But... That was my dong splat, wasn't it? This is dong splat. The maze, I feel, maybe a little big. Was that a splat? Uh, by which I mean, you have to get about, I don't know, seven or eight of these right to get to the end, and that makes for a massive, massive maze. I think it would have been fine if you only had to get like maybe three or four right. A ding splat. That's a dong splat. I want ding splat. This is a ding splat. If you only had to get the direction right three or four times in a row, you still would have a decently large size maze, which means if you didn't figure out the gimmick, you would still spend a lot of time mapping it. What's this noise? Ding exhaust. But, uh... It wouldn't take so long to get through it when you just want to go from point A to point B. Like, I haven't made any mistakes this time. What's this noise? A ding. I haven't made any mistakes going through here. I've been pretty much going through the maze as quickly as you can go through it because I've already done it once, but I wanted to come back and get the other page. And it's what? Like, it's taken 86 minutes. This, there's been 47 videos of this mine dungeon now. That might be a slight exaggeration, but... My point is, it's fun to solve the first time, but not after that. And I've had people tell me it's not fun to solve the first time. Like, yeah, I drew a map and it sucked. That was really lame and bad. That part of the game is terrible. I need to Windex the front of this mine rover, too. Is it going to give me problems trying to stand up again? Nope, not this time. Let me out. Oh, wait, went the wrong way. We want to go down the hallway. Shift key! Gotta give Cirrus his page, man. Can't leave one brother hanging. Okay, the Selenetic Age is behind us, finally. So again, some fun puzzles, but having to actually go through the age the second time, uh, not that fun, really. What's up, sociopath brother? Each page I can walk Soon, free from this Yeah, yeah, you're still... Kind of break it up on me, dude. Need to get a new iPhone or whatever. 
So that leaves one tower puzzle left, one age left. So let's, uh... We're running out of save slots. Save. And... So, we should be getting onward to the end. Uh... Guys, yeah, keep watching. Next age is more fun.